today we're going to show you how we built our camper van. Ceiling! Welcome back to Road to Pitches. Our names are Sachiko and Moritz and we are converting a GMC Savannah box truck into our dream camper van. <laughs> oh hey guys so we're super excited about this project as you've already noticed our ceiling's been super uggo for well since the beginning of the project we took off two weeks from work just to get this project done hopefully it doesn't take us two weeks that we can get some time uh to relax but let's go <music> The butcher block is. It's like this nice golden warm color after we oiled it a couple weekends ago. But let's get to business. I'm here to talk to you about the ceiling because this has been ugly for a really long time. We've already spent two days on this. We purchased a ton, okay, like 30 of these, 24 of these. We purchased like 24 of uh, one by two by eight pine dimensional lumber. We're gonna do vertical length slots kind of like this <laughs> so we have to create panels tetris shaped so that they fit in all of these weird places and then also be able to screw into the metal frame itself i have a feeling that it's probably going to take three whole days and it's going to rain later today so we're going to go to ikea probably get the sink sorted out for this baby Yay, over here. I know, sink. I can't wait to get the sink. It's gonna look so good. And then when you put it in the faucet, and then you start seeing the kitchen come to life. <laughs> so excited. Okay, let's get started. I'm excited to see it up on the ceiling. Okay, well, let's go. Uh, let's do a test fit. High step! Does it fit? Army 
good with our strapping here? We are. Wow. So the ceiling's actually not flat. Right there? No. <laughs> I think we gotta add some shims. I like it. <laughs> so how do we screw it in? Okay, uh, so time to dismount. Yeah. Maybe we should just put like a crash pad and yes. <laughs> just like <laughs> jump off. <sighs> All right. <It's> so sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, Eddie. <coughs> hey, bud. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Headbutt at the camera. You don't like this, do you? No. Okay. okay, it is day three. I think it's day three. Day four. It is now day. No, it is day four of our ceiling project. It is day four of our ceiling project, and Moritz is just pulling out all of the wood to get ready for us cutting up all the plywood and the rest of the ceiling slats. I spent all of yesterday on Lieber CAD um, learning how to draw out everything so that we have a full cut list so that we can just like go, 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 go today. The cuts list is ready. We pre cut the tablecloth, and so we're just gonna get. ceiling three need to be mounted however two of them have lights on them so rather than us installing the panels and then going in and wiring everything and adding the LED lights and then having to solder upside down we're gonna take a little bit of a break and Morris is gonna pull the panels inside and we're gonna do the electrical and I'm gonna give him some grand ideas that he's gonna maybe reject but so exciting! Hey guys, another beautiful day. We are on to day five of our ceiling project. This is ridiculous. Last night, we went to Home Depot to pick up 11 more slots. When we paid the bill, we realized just how expensive this whole project was getting. I think we're like over $500 right now. But Moritz's justification for this. Well, it looks nice. What was my justification? <laughs> Your justification was that we are gonna see it a lot. Yes. A lot more than, I don't know, other things that we might spend $500 on. Our next step is to continue doing more panels and mounting them.
stick to this. Are you talking to me or the drill? <laughs> it looks beautiful. But it's gonna be pretty close. I think once we put the bed in, knees. <laughs> yeah, there's not much turning space. Just as a point of reference, that's Moritz standing. So I'm lying down in the alcove. And the reason why we spent so much time fussing with the wood and the sandwiching of the fabric between the plywood underneath is you don't see a single screw on any of these slots. Not a single screw. Not a single one. a whole hour to put up. We didn't account for these bloody wires underneath on the side. We didn't account for rivets that were poking out. And then this piece is bowing out a little bit because it's not screwed in tightly enough. And Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. We uh, we had to go inside and get ice cream after this because we were so Moritz was. I've never seen Moritz so flustered before, and my back was achy. I'm like propping them up. I had no cushion between head and out, and this thing. And anyway, anyway, it's up now, and we're gonna finish the rest of the ceiling, and we're gonna pray to the ceiling gods that they smile upon us. Yeah. We are on day six of the ceiling project. And yesterday we were like, yeah, we never want to do this ever again. <laughs> but we're on day six and we're so close. We're closing in on the finish line and what do we have left? This panel, this panel, this panel. And now we're gonna get them up and hopefully put a close to this. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? Go. Oops, on the knees. <clears throat> Smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last panel, another issue. Those pine panels are not perfectly flush. So now we gotta shave off a few millimeters off of those three. So we gotta take it back down, eh? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Without sweat. <laughs> Done. Two thirds. 
30. Wow. So we only took how much? Two, Two hours. hours? Yeah. Wowza. Wowza. This looks really good. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wowza. Looks pretty good. We have still a little bit left over to do, which is wiring up our LED strips, which we placed in convenient spaces around the van. It's uh, RGB white and warm white. So we can pretty much mix any color we want. Moritz is wanting this to be a disco box. <laughs> oh yeah, we will definitely have a disco night. <laughs> wow. The day is not over because Moritz decided that he wanted to finish it. Finish it! So now we're going to do the very back wall of the alcove. So lessons learned from doing the ceiling slots. Number one. Don't screw up. <laughs> don't screw up. Great That's the first, the first one I can go after you. <laughs> Are we gonna... She always makes fun out of me. Yes. Yes. For <laughs> talking <seriously>. weird. <laughs> How could I not? <laughs> Number one, don't mess up. Is yours. <laughs> Number two, over budget. Like over, over budget. We use the minimum amount of materials and we still racked up over $500 on the ceiling. Not proud of that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Teach yourself how to use Lieber CAD. Actually, I like the Lieber Office straw. It's really easy. It's honestly Super so easy. easy. Yeah. And you can like move around the panels and make them modular so that you can install them easier. Be patient. This was moderately tedious. If this is the, the type of ceiling that you're going for, I'd highly recommend putting some time aside for it, and that's about it. It was just time, like... Yeah, it's very straightforward. It's really straightforward. Nothing complicated, really. Otherwise, we are done for the day. We hope you enjoyed that episode of how we built our ceiling. It took us a total of six days. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And here's a quick sneak peek of what we're working on. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.